What's up guys? Welcome back to Proxima Reviews. Welcome to another review of another sandwich. No, I'm just kidding. This is another airsoft gun that we bought. Um, I'm actually, I actually bought it because I was trying to find a good laser for my Glock. My Glock 18 that I just reviewed the other day. And you can check it out on my channel. I was trying to find a good laser, a cheap laser. But then all the lasers were pretty expensive. And then there was this one. It's another uh, airsoft gun, and it just cost 449 pesos, and it came with a laser. That's why I was like, I'll, I'll just buy it, because it has the laser that I want, and it even has a, another airsoft gun for me to review with it. So I guess that's the most bang for my buck. So this is an XK918, with it's all black with a laser and some free pellets with it. Um, so let's open it and let's see what it looks like. So I guess for the price you get a really cheap box. Well, it's not even a box, it's a sandwich. You get that for the price. You only really get the, the gun. Okay, so there is the laser and the gun so it doesn't have a manual actually well at least the block had a manual this one doesn't have a manual but i think it works kind of like that also just with a different configuration all right oh we got some loose pellets oh no all right so here we have it the XK918 all black with the laser and the free pellets. And we can put these pellets aside first since um, at first glance it looks really good. It's, the plastic is nice. It is all plastic. It's not it's not made of steel. I'm not sure if the inside is steel because it's a pellet gun. You need to make the inside stronger. But the outside, yeah, it's all plastic. Um, I'm not sure if once again, I'm not sure if the XK918 is a real gun, but I think it closely resembles the classic M1911 style handgun. The M1911 by Colt, or, or I think it can also be called the Colt government. It's uh, designed by the legendary John Browning, one of the most influential people in the design of firearms ever or maybe the guy with the most influence and this has been going on for years and it's still one of the most reliable handguns and it's a classic design that I think most people know what it is when they see one one of the most common Hollywood guns <laughs> yeah but this one has a little bit more design stuff to it like this you don't see that in the classic and also it's kind of rare to see an all black one usually it's a Spartus wood or something like that and this is our laser there, wow, you can just slide it on. So I think this is gonna fit right into my Glock. There you go. So I hope this works. Does have a battery. Oh yes, it does work. Oh great, that's nice. Where are the batteries on this? Oh, okay, so it's three of those small disc battery thingies. Yeah, all right, but it's good. Oh, that's a surprise. Actually, it does work. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera. I'm trying to turn this off. You can see it. Give me a second. There you go. Sure works. Yeah. It's nice. I'm so glad it works because that's the main reason why I bought this. All right. Let's try to activate this. So this is the magazine release. This one. Okay, so I think the up and down slider doesn't work. This one doesn't work. This part doesn't work. It doesn't go up and down. It's just decor. So you can't lock it in place like the Glock. Pretty standard sight. So if you can see it. Yep, that's a pretty standard sight. Is there a safety on this? No, there is no safety on this. Uh, this should have a safety. Alright, I'm gonna 
leave you guys for a sec. Gonna try this today and see how it works. Let's test fire it once though. Let's load one more. Let's load it like that. That in. Okay. Three, two, and one. Right. Works as is. Works as expected. And with a laser. Right, great, great, nice. Right. Right. You stay tuned, guys. I'm just gonna try this out, and I'm gonna tell you what I think about it. Stay tuned. Alright guys, welcome back. I've been shooting this uh, for the past couple of days and I've been toying around with it and I have some comments and opinions about it. So once again, this is the XK918 with the laser. Um, I have comments on the gun and on the laser for this one. Um, Alright, let's start on it. So as I've said earlier, this is a kind of a John Browning style M1911 style pistol with the with the full length the full length grip that usually that's made of wood or some plastic polymer, um, and then you have the pin fire system, but on this one doesn't work, and those are the uh, that's a traditional look and that's usually what you would get from an M1911 style pistol but probably most people wouldn't consider this like a traditional M1911 especially with the weird designs well it's not weird I think it's cool but it's not you don't really get that on the traditional M1911 pistols also the grip is a little bit flush to the side here not just uh, straight cut so uh, I guess that's not, not something you would see every day but here you have it in here so all right what do I think about this uh, it's, a, it's a good I mean one cock one shot um, it fires pretty well uh, if you've seen my Glock video you'd, you'd see my operation of the Glock and how strong it is I honestly think that the, the Glock was a little bit of a better build than this one but uh, if you're talking about coolness factor, I think this is a little bit cooler because uh, look, it's it has a really cool design, and it's not it's not a regular M1911. Personally, I think the M1911. I mean, it's it's the oldest design, <laughs> really. Uh, the Glock is a lot newer than that one, but this this is something that you could already think of, and people would perceive as a, a classic pistol design, the M1911, especially with this grip that doesn't have too many contours for the hand and the uh, pin fire system. But then this one, personally, I think made it cool again. I mean, not to say it's not cool, because I really think the M1911 is cool, especially the history and the simplicity of the thing. But this one adds a little bit more like mod modernness and some modern factor to it because of this stuff that look like uh, a barrel cooler and it's all black and this one is a little bit flush to the side so you can see it there see it goes all the way there and it has these grips boom so that's what you get when you buy this all right so some comments on it yes i think it's really nice and honestly it looks the part but it doesn't fully play the part for me um I'm I'm glad that it's it's nice and that it fires really well. It's pretty strong. It's also pretty accurate when I look at the sight. But you need a little bit more finishing on this one. They could have sanded this a little bit more. But it's actually very accurate and it shoots pretty straight. So that's a good thing about this. Um, the barrel, it's it looks like a steel barrel, but it's actually a plastic one, and it's just colored in silver so I'm not sure if you like that it feels a little bit more real on the on my Glock but on this one no it's it's you get a plastic one 
when you slide it, when you cock this part, the whole thing actually moves. So you see that? You see the front? The whole thing moves. So that's what you get when you buy this pistol. Um, a big part of what I say, of a, a big part of me saying it doesn't, it looks the part, but it doesn't really play the part, is that these should be moving parts aren't moving on this one. So first of all, this is probably the only moving button on the whole thing. The magazine release, so that's how you release a magazine. Um, this part, the one that should be holding the, what do you call this? Uh, this it's the slider, it's just called the slider. You slide it back, this should hold it in place so that when you put the magazine in and you release this, it's gonna get the bullet inside. Uh, I can show you how it works on my Glock. So let's unload it first. Okay, so this part, you slide this back. That, yeah, that should catch it. So this part, see that there's a groove in here. This should catch it. But actually, on this one, it's just decoration. It's part of the mold, and it doesn't really move. So you do it with the Glock, because you flip this, and then when this is inside, that gets the bullet. So yeah, you don't get that with this one. Another one is you don't get a safety. So <coughs> I guess inform children first when you're gonna let them borrow this and I'd actually just advise to not buy this specific model for young children because if they're irresponsible and they don't have a safety and they might use it in the wrong way probably also if you buy it just keep it in a safe place where people will not get into accidents with it but if you're very particular about those kinds of things yes this is what you get uh, okay, for the laser, it's a pretty strong laser, it's good, uh, maybe you won't see it that much in the daytime, but during the night it's very very visible, it runs on three of the small uh, what, what that, pancake batteries, you, you know those things, the small, looks like a coin, a small coin, yeah, that one. So I tried fitting this in my Glock, apparently then slide into my Glock. So probably this one only fits with this. So if you're buying the full package anyway, so that's what you get. I'm having some accuracy issues though about this laser because when you take this part off, there, I had to put some paper inside so that it's going to be accurate because this part is kind of loose and it being loose means you can move it. So you could actually do yourself a favor and just tune it to your own specifications if you want it to point a little bit upwards or downwards but the thing is it also kind of points left or right from time to time so you have to fix it yourself so if you have the time to do that uh, and it comes with the pistol at that price point so i think that's something that you could consider because where else would you get something like that um, i'm not sure if this could come a little bit cheaper i think i've seen them go as low as 300 sometimes so probably just find yourself one but from where I bought it, I got it for like 450 So, and I'm pretty happy with it, even at that price. Probably when you you fix this properly, and then it's on mark already with how you're using this one and this one. Probably you could apply some super glue so that it never moves again. But that's up that's up to you, and I'm pretty sure you could easily find a solution to that. But one thing that you're not gonna find an easy solution to is if your air gun, airsoft gun looks hideous and doesn't look stunning and doesn't make you feel really cool and epic every time you're gonna use it, even just to shoot your little targets at home or if you have those little Happy Meal toy minions that you wanna knock down because they're just annoying when they stand up. If it doesn't make you feel that way, I'm sorry, pal. You're not gonna get it from those ones, but you're gonna get it from this for sure. Where else would you see an M1911 looking this modern, having this spine looking cuts here that I think are probably on a real firearm would be to cool the barrel easier and also to make it slide better. And it's really strong. It's very accurate. And that's probably the more important thing when you buy stuff like this, that it's strong and it's accurate and it shoots straight. Because um, some 
airsoft, especially spring types, are so cheap that the insides don't even align and you have to fix them a bit. Yeah, at least on this one, you don't get something like that. The magazine it has a max capacity of 14 pellets. If you get this one, that's what you get, 14 shots. Okay. So there it is. There you have it. Your XK918 M1911 style pistol from Lazada. This made me feel cool. So I'm pretty sure it's going to make you feel that too. So thank you for watching, guys. This is an awesome airsoft and I love this review. And I've had a lot of fun using it. And if you like this video, as much as I like this airsoft gun that I have played with, please give my video a like also, so that I know that you like it. And then please also subscribe to my channel, so that you're gonna always see my new videos. And click the bell if you want to be notified when I post new stuff, because I'm gonna post a lot of new stuff. Um, I have some tech reviews coming up and I'm very excited about them but they're still on the way and I have some that I'm editing right now and this is gonna probably be next so I hope you enjoyed guys thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time